This video will be intro to parts for Onshape PLTW. You're going to start off by coming up to the top and hitting Create Document. Your document's name is going to be Intro to Parts and your grade level. Once clicking OK, it'll load into your workspace. You're going to come to the top left by the sketch, click on the sketch button, and place your sketch on the front plane. You can see that your sketch has been placed there. Orientate yourself by going to the cube on the right side and clicking on the front. From there, we're going to start by drawing a rectangle. Clicking on the rectangle tool, you're going to click in your workspace, dragging out and clicking again to lay down the rectangle. Without hitting another button, you can then type in the numbers or the dimensions you would like for your length. So I'm gonna place two inches, and then enter, then one, and then enter. You're gonna notice the plus sign still shows me I'm using that tool, so I'm gonna go on my keyboard in the top left corner and hit the escape button. My next tool is the line funk tool. I'm going to click on that tool, click again to start my line, click to place the end point of my line, and again, I can then hit a number uh, for the length of my line. Three, then enter for my example. You're going to see I'm still attached to the line, so I'm going to hit the escape button again on the keyboard to exit this tool. The next tool is the circle. I'm going to click on that tool. I'm going to click in my drawing space to, for the center of my circle, drag out for the approximate size, left click to lay it down, and then again I can use my numbers to enter the exact dimensions. Here I'm placing 1.5 and then my enter button. You can see I still have that tool activated by that plus sign. I'm going to hit the escape button on my keyboard, the ESC top left corner, to go back to my uh, cursor. The next thing I'm going to do is my spline tool, which is here in the top. Um, looks like a bent line. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to place down three points, just like drawing a line. One, two, and three. I'm going to hit my escape button to end that line, and the escape button again to exit that tool. Now I have my cursor. I can grab my white circles to change the shape of my line and create the effect that I would like to. I'm going to next go to my ellipse tool next to the circle. There's a drop down menu. I'm going to click on that and look for the ellipse. Just like the circle, I'm going to lay it down and then drag out. I can set my length for my ellipse and then the with and left clicking to lay it down and then i set my width for the eclipse and left click to lay it down you'll see that my dimensions are still highlighted so i can type three enter 1.5 enter and i now have dimensioned it i can hit the escape button which exits this tool the next thing i'm going to do is my arc tool Next to the circle and the ellipse is the three-point arc tool. I'm going to click on that and place my first point down, my second point down, and then I can drag up and down for the radius of my arc. You'll notice I can change my radius after laying it down with the left click by hitting a number and then enter. So now I have a two inch radius. Again, I'll hit that escape button in order to exit this tool.